Right, in this video we're going to be talking about the email wizard tool. So let's go into a long file so I can show you. Let's go into Wanda. Now, the way that you send emails from LendingWise is you have an icon over here that's called the Compose Email. You click on it, it loads up, and it provides a pop-up. Now, you have a set of standard templates that um, you can use, and you can also um, you know, work on them to make it look like the way that you want it to, maybe add a logo, add different sections. But just for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we have on some of them. So I have the link to the full app, and it says Wanda, comma, space, we need some more information. I have other ones over here that's called the financing request. I'm looking for financing the following deal below with items that um, have been mapped out. And next to these, you're gonna see customized templates. So the way that you would edit these templates, right, to so make it your own, we will get out of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first tab that I have open. And if you're a manager, that's the only way, of course, that you're going to have access to that setting. And I'm going to go into the email wizard. Now, if you remember before, we have the standard templates. You can reuse, right, repurpose one of these, or you can create your own. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and take an existing one and enhance it. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? I'm gonna say the pre-approval email. I have the template name, the subject, and the body. So the first one is the template name. So I'm gonna leave it as is for now, or maybe, you know what, I'm just gonna change pre-approval because I know it's an email already. Next, I have the subject. So you're gonna see here some merge text. That's what we use in the system to call out a form field from the loan application over to what we're trying to display. So for example, let's just say that maybe you don't want to use the bar first name, you want to use the entity name or maybe the last name of the client, the choice is yours. I'm just going to do this to show you. I can go ahead and search this, you know, entity name. And you see here that I have the section entity tags with the name and I have entity name. So I can click on that and I can paste it right over to where it needs to go. So I'm gonna follow the same format. I'm gonna remove the bar first name and add that hashtag, merge tag, however you feel more comfortable, but um, you can add it there. Maybe I wanna add my logo. So I can go ahead and put my logo on the top. I can either upload it, in this case, just for this video, I'm gonna do a copy and paste. And I'm gonna put that in the middle, make it a little bigger, good to go there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and save it so I can save that information. And I created my first or a few customized templates. So now when I go back to the file and I click on that compose email, instead of looking for standard, right, because I did customize it, so it's gonna be part of the customized templates. And let's go ahead and look for it. There it is, pre-approval. It's gonna load up the subject, the logo, right? And this is, of course, the name of the entity. If you have any questions, please email us at support at lendingwise.com. Thank you.